Hey everyone, Mr. Hayden here. I wanted to um, uh, make a short video to show you how to finish the savings spreadsheet project. Okay, so you'll notice there are six tabs at the bottom and each tab is a different scenario. Um, three of them are for when you make a one-time deposit into an account and draw interest on a regular basis. Uh, the other three are for when you every um, periodically you make a regular deposit into an account uh, and also draw interest um, at that same frequency. So, um, so if you look at one of the sheets, and I'm going to go and do one of the regular deposits one, you'll see that uh, you have a couple colors. Hot pink means that that's where the user is going to actually enter values. Okay, the green, anything that's in green should be a formula. Now, I tell you what the formulas are because we derived them in class uh, over here in column C and column 8. So the formula itself is in bold. Okay, um, it'll say, you know, the B5 formula is and then equals something in bold. It's from the equals on that you need to copy and paste into the appropriate cell that it tells you um, that it indicates. So for example, the B5 formula is equals that. I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to highlight from equals on. right? And make sure that the first character you, you highlight is the equals not the space or the colon. It has to be from the equal symbol on to the end. So now I'm going to do control C and I'm going to go to the B5 cell which would be right here. All right and now you can do one of two things. You can just do control V uh, or if you want to keep it looking nice if you go to the edit menu and you do paste special uh, and you do formulas only, um, it will uh, keep the green uh, and make it look nice. Now, unless you put in values for the pink um, cells, you're going not going to get anything meaningful in the green cells because these formulas compute um, uh, all of these things based on values that are entered in the pink cells. And if there's nothing there, uh, Google Sheets will assume it's zero and some of the formulas have um, division and uh, if you don't have anything, for example here in D10, it says the D10 formula is this divided by dollar sign B dollar sign 2. Well dollar sign B dollar sign 2 is zero. Division by zero is of course not permittable, it's permissible, so that's why we're getting an error message. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in, type in numbers here and numbers that would make sense. So regular deposit amount of $1,000 a month, number of time, or $1,000. The number of times interest is compounded is 12, so that means I'm depositing $1,000 every month for a year. And let's, uh, in a year, let's say uh, number of years will be 10, and let's do an interest rate of 2%. Okay, so there we go. All right, now, uh, as you can see, the APY is computed based on these numbers. Now, I need to keep, uh, putting in the formulas until I finally get this whole thing filled out. So the balance at the end of T years, let's see, that's B6. Well, over here it says the B6 formula is that. So I'm going to go up to the equal sign. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to do control C. I'm going to go down into um, this cell and you can do control V if you put the cursor up in the address bar you won't have to do edit pay special if you put it down here in the cell itself uh, if you just do paste it's gonna paste it in and make it white okay it'll still give you the right numbers but it's just not gonna look as nice and as consistent so I recommend that you actually put the cursor up in the address bar when you do control V uh, or edit paste. So I'm going to paste it in. Okay, and now 
as you can see, the correct value is computed. So now I need to do B7. So I'm going to go up to B, where it says B7. I'm going to highlight from the equal sign on. I'm going to do Control C. Then I'm going to uh, highlight B7. I'm going to go up into the address bar and I'm going to do Control V. And then I'm going to hit Enter. Okay. So remember, once you paste in a formula up here, you just hit the enter key. Okay, if you start clicking on something else, it's going to think you're trying to modify the existing formula. You are not. You are uh, pasting in that formula exactly as it is, and then you hit enter. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the bottom. Okay, so now uh, I had one minor error in the template formula, and that is if yours still says the B11 formula is E11 on the regular deposits tab, it should say E10. Okay, so very important that it says E10, not uh, E11. Okay, so let's see. Uh, interest earned, what cell is that? That's D10. Well, where does it say what the D10 formula is? Right here. So I'm going up to the D10 formula. I'm copying it. I go down to D10 and I paste. Okay. Um, and also, the opening balance, it doesn't say zero, but our, by our computations, it is zero because it's actually before you make this one this regular deposit so I'm just gonna put a zero in there although uh, all of the formulas will still work correctly if I don't have a zero in here because um, if there's nothing there Google Sheets assumes it's zero okay so now I'm gonna go to the closing balance and what cell is this this is E10 okay so uh, I find where it says the E10 formula is, I go up to the top, I make sure I have highlighted from the equal sign on, I can do control C, I go back to closing balance, uh, E10, I put the cursor in the address bar up at the top, and I do control V, and I hit enter. Okay, so this looks right. Um, now I need to do uh, A11. So the A11 formula is equals A10 plus 1. So I highlight equals A10 plus 1. I do control C. I click on A11. I put my cursor in the address bar and I do control V and I hit enter. Alright, so that's right. Now I'm going to um, copy and paste uh, the uh, let's see it is I need D9 so I'm looking for D10 and E10 okay so D10 and E10 so it says the D10 formula is that so I'm going to go up and get from the equal sign on I'm going to do control V oops and I put my cursor in the address bar because I don't want to overwrite the formatting and I do control V okay now I'm going to um, copy and paste uh, for uh, E11 so uh, E11 uh, isn't listed there, so that means I can just copy and paste it um, down. And actually, I can do the same thing with, uh, yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. Uh, okay, so now I'm ready to copy and paste one of the rows all the way down. So I'm going to do edit. I'm going to highlight the row. Okay, so I, you know, drag, click and drag. I'm going to do Control C, and then I'm going to uh, select column A from uh, rows 12 and down to like 240. So I, the way I do, the easy way to do that is to hold the click on A12, 
hold the shift key down, go all the way down to, uh, well, I'll do A369. You don't have to do A36 to A369, but I'll do it anyways. Okay, I click on A369, A3, and then I release the shift key. Okay, so that will highlight all of from A10 or whatever it was all the way down to A369, and I'm then going to do Control V. All right, the formula should paste all the way down, and there you go. And you can check to see if your uh, spreadsheet works, is working correctly, because it says here that, okay, at the end of 10 years, I should, I should have $132,000. Well, let's go to row 120, let's see, one, uh, wherever it says 120 would be the end of 10 years because each row is a month, and sure enough, I have $132,000. So that's how you um, uh, do uh, each of these. Now, the nice thing is, um, once you get the amortization table, which is the table down below, done for either the one-time deposit or the regular deposits. For the regular deposits one, you can copy and paste it into the other two regular deposits uh, sheets because it uses the exact same formula. So to do that, you want to highlight, uh, click on uh, the one in unit of time, so that would be A10, hold the shift key down, then scroll all the way down to uh, the last uh, cell in e in column E. Click on it. Okay, that's going to highlight everything. Then you release the shift key. You do Control C. You go over to the regular deposits tab, and you position the cursor in A10 and do Control V. Okay, now nothing's going to appear immediately because you haven't put in values for the pink uh, cells. Um, but I'm going to still do my uh, copying and pasting in. All right, so now let me go to the regular deposits tab and let me put in the few formulas, solve for P, and let's put in similar values so we're going to do a thousand dollars at two per oops no the uh that's the wrong one at no i'm sorry this is the one where we're solving for p so we're solving for how much money you have to invest on a regular basis to end up with a certain amount of money at the end of two ten years the reason i can tell that is the pink cells are numbers that you have to enter. They're the input values for your little calculator. So I'm going to do, um, let's see, balance at the end of T years. Well, let's do this. Let's, um, theoretically, if all of these values are the same, we should get the exact same amount, even though we're solving for a different um, variable. So what you can do is I'm going to copy and paste that value, not the formula, the value, um, into uh, C. So the way you do that is you do edit, paste special, values only. So now I have the, the number 132,000 in there. Uh, let's see what else. 12 months, 10 years at 2%. So it would be 12 months, 10 years, 2%. For the regular deposit amount, the, uh, I need to put in a formula, which is B1. So it says the B1 formula is this. So I go up, I highlight from the equal sign only, I click on B1, I then go up into the address bar, do control V, hit enter, all right, and then I need to do B5. I go up to where it says the B5 formula is. I click on the equal sign. I do Control C. 
I go back to B5, click on the address bar for B5, do Control V, hit Enter. And then the last one I have to do is B7. So I go, it says the B7 formula is that. So I highlight from the equal sign only. I do Control C. I click on the B7 cell. I click up in its address bar. I do Control V and then Enter. Okay, so we should have the exact same values. The difference is, in one case, the user entered values for uh, R, T, N, and B, and in the other case, they entered values for uh, P, N, T, and R. Okay, so you're solving for a different variable, but the numbers should come up the same if you did it right. Okay, and it looks like it does. Okay, so that means that you did this correctly. Okay, so that's the end of my video. Um, you know, this really, if you know what you're doing, uh, this should really just take you less than a half hour to finish. Okay, uh, I strongly recommend you plugging a mouse into your Chromebook because it really does uh, make it much easier to do copying and pasting and positioning the cursor. Uh, otherwise, it, it can get tedious. It's possible to do it on your Chromebook with just the touchpad, but um, I strongly recommend finding a mouse. If you have a mouse in your home somewhere, uh, plugging it in, I can lend you a mouse if we're at school too. So really, uh, we are going to be using spreadsheets the rest of the year, so I strongly recommend using a mouse. Okay, so that's how you complete um, this project. Now you need to do this for all of the six tabs. Okay, but like I said, you once you finish for the regular deposits, uh, the amortization chart at the bottom, you can copy and paste it into the other regular deposits tabs. Likewise, once you finish the one-time deposit tab, you can cut for one of them the uh, amortization chart down at the bottom, you can copy and paste that into the other two one-time deposits tab. All right, so um, that's what I have for you. Uh, this really isn't hard to do. We already did the math. It's just a matter of pasting the formulas into the correct cells. And you have to be careful about it. You paste the formula, copy and paste the formula from the equal sign only, and you have to look at the directions for to, to decide where that formula goes. And it tells you right here where it goes. So you just have to concentrate a little bit and you know, do a little spreadsheet manipulation. It's nothing that challenging, and I know everybody is fully capable of doing this. All right. Cheers. Have a good week.